So I pretty much gave up on Sparking Zero. I remember waiting for Sparking Zero, getting the announcement, and being super excited for what we could see. And it feels like we got slop. I have played Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 3 since I was about 10 years old. Comparing that game to Sparking Zero is absolutely insane because it feels like Tenkaichi 3 is better than Sparking Zero. Now my reasonings for this is simply because it feels like Tenkaichi 3 has more homage to the original creation of Dragon Ball than Sparking Zero does. In Tenkaichi 3, the movement was a little bit stiff, but it was weighted, meaning every hit you felt, every key blast that was dealt, every flying attack was hard, was very consistent, was very felt impactful. In this game, while it is the same way, you can tell that it's a little bit dialed back for the sense of whatever. I don't know what the whatever is, but that's what that's what they decided to do. So I can be okay with that. I can even be okay with the graphical increase in terms of just being able to have the anime effects consistently being shown off over the graphics. Like I can accept that. What I can't accept is the game functionally not working properly. And what I mean by this is when I'm going to charge up my attack or even charge up my key, the game will either not register the fact that I'm charging, register the fact that I'm charging late, register the fact that it didn't even happen, you know, like that will happen consistently. I'll be doing a string attack with somebody like Gogeta too. So if you guys don't know, Gogeta's quite possibly one of the best characters in the game just due to his uh, damage output and his, uh, his overall kit. But even online playing with Gogeta, base Gogeta, because he can go sparking even online playing with base Gogeta you you'll try to do a five hit string with your square attack and it'll stop at two hits for whatever reason it there is just no reason for it it happens so consistently that it it makes it it makes it it makes the whole game feel like a scam honestly $69 for a barely functional online experience and a subpar offline experience i'm going to be quite harsh because i really did have high expectations the offline aspect of this game feels kind of weak you know i'm glad other people are able to experience dragon ball in a way that is uh fresh air quotes new air quotes but honestly if they remastered tenkaichi 3 i don't think anybody would be complaining if they just added more DLC into Tenkaichi 3 after remastering Tenkaichi 3, I don't think anybody would be complaining. Because the issue that I'm having right now is the fact that it's it came off as if they were promising more than they were able to give us. So more outfits, more cosmetics, more ways to play, more ways to feel like you're a Dragon Ball character. But instead, we have <clears throat> a busted game, wonky mechanics overtuned mechanics you know characters that are just overpowered in in itself because of the game's mechanics it's just all in all annoying it's it's very aggravating it's not a fun experience it's not an exciting experience it's not something i would even tell somebody to go out and ex try and experience it for themselves i wouldn't even tell somebody to get this on sale right now like 40 dollars still feels like too much for a game like this because i should not be having to play guesswork with basic attacks in a fighting game like i shouldn't I, I just shouldn't i shouldn't be having to do guesswork about if i'm going to have my mobility neutered because the game doesn't want to catch up to my inputs i shouldn't have to do guesswork like that i shouldn't have to go and pick the most broken character to even stand a chance because your game is not functioning properly i shouldn't have to go out of my way to that degree to enjoy your game that's that's just how I feel about it. And that is $69. And that's what's really getting me. The fact that it's $69. And yes, technically you are getting that Dragon Ball experience. But it's such a watered down Dragon Ball experience. That it feels like it should be like $30 or less. Like they really got one over on everybody. On the fact that it's Dragon Ball. Akiri Toriyama passed away. Rest in peace. But they, they, like I am very, very, very disappointed with 
the overall state of the game i've been keeping it to myself i i just have not been able to find the time to like sit down and just talk about it because i i enjoy the game let, like let me give you a scenario i will be completely whooping somebody completely giving him back shots his back is turned i'm on my five hit combo boom i'm stepping in rush boom boom what my combo just stopped what does that mean he turns around he hits to hit me and i have to start spamming my super counter now that's crazy oh another thing another thing i'm sure you guys know this if you guys have played the game you've seen this happen you go into a vanish war yeah huh. yeah huh. yeah you both still have key Huh. the attack goes through you you turn around he's still in the animation huh what does that mean free attack for you that's not even fair it, that's not even fair i've seen that happen so often so consistently that it makes me not want to boot up the game just period why would i boot up the game when there is a very real pot not a like low SSR type chance, a very real coin flip possibility that the vanish attack is going to go through my body. Why would I even attempt to play something like that? Why? why? Somebody please tell me why. Like the game is, if the game worked functionally, if it played the way it was supposed to, if things were not as buggy as they were, I don't think I would be having this kind of feeling I would towards a $69 game. But the fact that it's so expensive, I got the DLC on top of that. It feels like the DLC they gave you is like worse <laughs> right now because Goku Mini is like objectively ass, like just straight up. It, the things that they said you would be able to do in the game, it feels like they have to sold you what you could do like thinking you could switch your moves out and stuff they like have told you you could do that stuff it's it's just really weird the way things were worded and how they it was advertised and what is actually in our hands that's why i don't really mess with it as much i have so many matches and videos where they're they're good fights but you can just feel my frustration through the fights so it's not for me it doesn't feel worth posting it because it's I, i'm getting that upset i don't want to watch myself getting that upset and i don't i don't think you guys want to watch me getting upset over a non-functional game i'm pretty sure you want to see me get upset over something that actually works i want to see myself get upset over something that works but this is like it's just infuriating it's literally infuriating i wasted my money on it i'm pro i'm still gonna play the dlc because i wasted my money on it but like overall the game itself is just wow i'm i'm just just wow just wow it i cannot believe that this is what it turned out to be as uh i'm not gonna lie it's nothing's going to disappoint me as much as the demon slayer game and how they just drop support for it but this is getting pretty damn close it's just it this is really embarrassing